Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Blue Archive reaction video. Today we have themes 67 and 150. These apparently are related, which is always what I try to do. So as per usual, I'll be doing this sequentially. So we'll be starting with Someday Sometime and then moving to System All Green after that. And I'll be giving them my opinions in between. So without further ado, let's go. Ooh, ooh, immediately. Immediately gorgeous. That's giving me dearly beloved vibes. <laughs> I mean, pretty sure those are three of the same notes there. So. <laughs> This is a lot of high piano, like really high up on octave. Ooh. Love that bass note in there. Ooh, a little playful. I, I love that note choice. This is really just a piano and nothing else, isn't it? Like when I read the description of sad piano, I didn't really take it that literally, but... <laughs> Those combinations are nuts. Very pretty. All right, so like I said when listening to this one, um, didn't expect it to just be straight piano, but it straight up was just a beautiful piano piece. I said it reminded me a little bit of Dearly Beloved. It kind of does. It also reminds me a little bit of one of the Undertale songs I don't know the name of specifically, but I'm sure if you know what I'm talking about, then you know the one I mean. Um... It was definitely a major key. It was definitely not a minor, albeit they definitely abused the one or two flats I heard throughout that song in order to make it feel a little bit more soft. So it's, that's intriguing to me. When people use major keys in order to play songs that are overall kind of more sad and a little bit more heavy like that that definitely had some emotional weight to it didn't feel just blatantly exciting and exuberant happy and glad you know whatever else it's a party this felt happy in the way a lot of songs from blue archives seem to be for me which is this gave me nostalgia this made me feel like i was meeting an old friend or walking down that lonely road in your hometown and just remembering the times when you were a child and something about that experience that's a little bittersweet is probably the best way to word that one but that was a beautiful track i know carrots music from mostly the electronic stuff that they've done for blue archive and this was definitely not that it was definitely its own thing and that is really nice to hear that level of variance between their usual music and then something like this that's just a lot more stripped down and raw and i really do like the way that sounded a lot but with that said let's get to theme 150 shall we system all green okay apparently these are related but Maybe? I think I'm hearing something in there. Ooh, lots of electronic noise being used. Lots of beeps and boops. <laughs> Yep. 
I'm hearing the connection in here for sure. I was feeling like it might have been, but I didn't have quite enough information to, but... Yep. Ooh. Oh. What a transition to that! There's what I'm kind of used to from Carrot. Got my stank face out now. The use of synth was nuts. That drag? Yeah, okay. Wow. All right, so that one was kind of interesting to me because it threw me off a little bit. I was like, why does this sound kind of close but not exact? Usually when they do stuff like this, they borrow the same melody or at least something related to it. But I have a theory here. I think they might have used a relative key, like a key that shares a lot of information with another key, be it notes, tone, the emotion that it tries to push through because every key is a little bit different on that matter. I'm wondering if this might be the minor key relative to the first one, because this one definitely felt a little bit more down in tone. I feel like that might just be me but the first song was definitely a major key there's no doubt there but i felt like i heard more minor notes in this one i'm not sure like more flats maybe i'm not a pro i'm just working off of my relative pitch and my ear for this sort of thing this could be the case we could be looking at something that was composed with the knowledge of the other song it could have also been a coincidence where it was like okay i made this one in this key let's make this one in a relative key to make it similar but not the same i wonder if anybody watching this uh any of you out there may know <laughs> and will be able to inform the rest of us because i'm just running a theory here but i feel like that may be different in all the right ways. The rest of this song sounded nothing like it. The overall lead was not piano, it was this synth that was brought in especially heavy in that latter half. That was a really cool slide, I mentioned that during the reaction. The That drag of that synth up to that super high note to bring it back down into the melody was just Mm, oh, so good. And of course, as a drummer, I have to comment that it was really nice to hear this like evolution of the song that I had just heard in a way where there was more instruments and of course the drums. There, there was just so much more information, but that's kind of why mentioning my first point, it didn't feel like the exact same song. The melody was slightly different, and I think that that was on purpose. So again, if anybody knows, please let everybody else know in the comments below so we can find that out. Aside from that, as per usual, with all the music I've heard from Blue Archive, something nostalgic, something uplifting, the music never fails. So far, I have not had one that I've been disappointed by, and I'm looking forward to hearing more that aren't going to disappoint me. But if you have any more songs, any more bundles that I can listen to multiple in one video, by all means, let me know. And if you want to see more of these and etc., you know how to follow me and support me and all that. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!